Uh, this cast that I'm doing right here is a is there's a family of casts. They're called C Space, Snap T. They're kind of basically work off the same principle. What changes is the speed and the shapes that you draw to lift the line out of the water. And what I mean by that is this move right here, which is called a pickup, right there. And I gotta tell you, for the longest time, I did not like this cast at all. I called it the snap tip cast because I saw lots of 15 foot 10 weights up on the connect dock during king season literally get guillotined off by flies being cast with this cast. And I, for years and years, which did not talk badly about it, in fact. Uh, I got to credit Scott O'Donnell and Mike McCune. Those guys used it all the time. And they finally convinced me, and it was the simplest thing, believe it or not, that they taught me, which you don't see being taught on most uh, instructionals about the uh, C spay or snap T, and that is when you do the cast, get the rod tip out of the way of the path of the fly. And we'll go over this later in more detail. And that was the cure for me. Get always make sure that right after your lift, you get the rod tip out of the way of the path of the fly, and you won't end up with a broken rod tip. And it's actually become in this, my bass fishing, my warm water fishing, has become my most used cast by a, a long shot. I'd say it's 65, 75 percent of the time I'm using this cast because it's so versatile. And uh, what I'm doing here, the current's flowing that way. See what you're going to see most uh, sea spay or snap teeth are going to show you the upstream one, which is here, around, and out. But there's a uh, Downstream version too. Let me do that again since we got buggered up by a knot there. Like I said, most times it's taught is the upstream shoulder cast, currents going that way, draw my C, come around the upstream side, cast. That's the way you'll see it taught the majority of the time. But it's just as easily converted right down to here. Downstream side. So that goes for both sides of the river. So you can cast all what they call all four situations on the river. Uh, and uh, like I said, I'll go into it in detail in a later video, but de depending on how you draw this shape in the air, like a big C, or if you call what we cut it, there's all kinds of different things you can do with that cast. But the main thing is just get your rod tip out of the path of the fly. That's the important thing. Uh.